for our mini session today I want to do a little bit of bomb and pellet fishing come and fish the match yesterday a 1-2-2 two, two. when I got here the conditions flat calm and to be honest I wanted to do a bit of pole fishing but in fishing the conditions change and it turned into a bit of a bomb match and I've done sort of three or four things and I got them wrong and I want to talk you through that because I definitely felt like I could have caught a lot more so, so feed me pellets they actually went reasonably straight so same thing again now literally within four seconds I've lost sight of where my pellets have landed so I'm just going to wind on to it I, that wasn't that far away from my pellets but first thing that I've noticed is I was a lot more accurate than I was yesterday in the wind with a slightly bigger lead so bring my rod back once it's all sorted then I can set my stopwatch the biggest thing with your stopwatch is how often to be casting but it's signs on your rod tip so I've just had a little line of straight away another little line of straight away so they're definitely there I wanted to feed to try and get some fish there rather than us just sitting there waiting for a motionless tip but in the matches it's trying to work out what signs you're getting how much bait are you feeding if your bomb's been out there you know for x amount of time do you want to be feeding whilst your bomb's in the water or do you just want to feed your bait and set your trap and wind into it one thing yesterday where i'm adamant that if I'd have had that little bit of slick to aim at, fishing with this bigger bomb, I'd have definitely made more opportunities in my cast because we all know what it's like when you're pole fishing. I'm not going to turn around because any minute now that rod could be like, um, we all know what it's like, how accurate you need to be with your pole fishing. And when you're rod line fishing, I'm just trying to do exactly the same thing, but transfer everything that we know from our pole fishing onto our bomb line. and the amount of times when you're fishing a pole you know even when it's six seven foot deep you sit there you floats on the bottom and you haven't had a bite for a bit you know so you pick cow hook you fire your pellets within three seconds of the pellets landing and hitting the water the float flies under a million mile an hour you strike and there's one in the mouth so that noise of them pellets landing on the water um, definitely helps you get more bites when you're fishing on the bottom the problem is with your bomb fishing is you can't be as accurate so I've got when my bombs in the water I've got nothing to aim at in terms of where I'm fishing whereas when you're fishing on your pole say you're fishing 14 meters when you loose feed you've got you know your fixed marker your float to aim at so I don't like loose feeding a lot there's a bite so there my clutch is set so look down two minutes eight seconds I don't know if it's because I've been doing a lot of F1 fishing, but that feels like it's been out there sort of 10, 15 minutes. Um, but yeah, what I was going to say was I don't like doing it as much. I'll just tighten my clutch up ever so slightly. I don't like doing it as much when I'm bomb fishing because I, I, I really believe that where if you're fishing here and your pellets land here, as soon as them fish see them, they're going to swim onto them new pellets. But I think early on, when you haven't got a lot of fish in your peg you've got to get them in your peg so I think sometimes it's sacrificing maybe the accuracy side of it just to be trying to build your peg up but this was the thing yesterday just out of practice and out of the thinking just them little you know things that you learn match on match ultimately they're the one or two percents that are going to make a big big difference obviously you know I know you've got to draw well in the fact of you've, you know you've got to draw a peg that's capable of winning on the day but even then it's always a case of just trying to you know maximize your peg and you take your luck as and when you get it and I genuinely feel that yesterday I should have caught a lot more I think one coming coming with a bit of a preconceived idea of what I wanted to do was a big mistake. You say that all of the time. So nice fish, cradle him up. Just get my disgorger. 
and this was the biggest thing what I think is with your bomb fishing so use me to scourger take my fish out pop him back there's a lovely ghosty and load him up for us Love, lovely ghost carp I'm not going to hold him up as in pick him out of the out of the land and that so I pop him back and this is the thing now about being as efficient as possible so